Yeah, I was, uh, I'm a procrastinator. It was time to get go and get like a real job. Matt LeBlanc catapulted to international fame for his portrayal of the charming and hilarious Joey Tribbiani on the smash hit sitcom Friends. You could just, you know. You For 10 seasons from 1994 to 2004, Matt enchanted audiences with Joey's lovable but dim-witted nature, laser-focused obsession with food, and constant search for love. Joey's catchphrases like, how you doing, and cut it out became instantly iconic. So did his friendship with the other characters in the show. Matt's comedic chops and natural likability made Joey one of the most beloved sitcom characters of all time. This earned him a staggering $1 million per friend episode. With the fortune this successful actor amassed, he went on to live in some beautiful properties, like a handful of multi-million dollar homes in California. Born in Newton, Massachusetts, Matt LeBlanc knew from an early age that he wanted to be an actor. After high school, he headed to New York City to pursue his dreams. His first major role came in 1988 when he was cast as a regular on the drama TV 101. Yeah, the only problem with the ruse is geeks like you that don't show enough spirit. So shut up. Though the show only lasted one season, it gave Matt invaluable experience and some exposure. The early 1990s brought more opportunities for him in TV movies, series guest appearances, and commercials. He landed a recurring role on the hit Fox sitcom Married with Children, playing Kelly Bundy's boyfriend. Not home. <laughs> then is it okay if I wait? He also appeared in popular shows like Red Shoe Diaries and Top of the Heap. When the Friends producers were searching for their six leads in 1994, they knew Matt LeBlanc was the perfect fit for Joey, thanks to his work on Married with Children. He earned multiple Emmys, Golden Globes, and SAG Award nominations for his acting on Friends. With Friends firmly behind him, Matt joined the edgy Showtime comedy episodes in 2011 as a fictionalized version of himself. His performance is a narcissistic womanizer willing to sell out for six earned him a Best Actor Golden Globe in 2012, as well as four more Emmy nominations. He also became a regular TV role in the CBS sitcom Man With A Plan from 2016 to 2020. As an old school father adapting to modern family life, Matt got to showcase more of his acting range. Off screen, Matt is a loving father to his daughter Marina with ex-wife Melissa McKnight. In 2006, at the height of his friend's fame, Matt purchased a Spanish style home, an exclusive Exclusive Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles for 7.4 million after his divorce from his wife. But since 2012, he's been renting this house out for $13,000 a month. The four bedroom, four bathroom house is located in the Tony Amalfi rim of the Palisades Riviera. Four years later in 2016, he then decided to completely move on from this property. The eight time Primetime Emmy Award nominee listed it on the market with an asking price of nearly $9 million. The living room in this home features a cozy fireplace and gorgeous beam ceilings, giving off a warm and inviting atmosphere, perfect for entertaining guests. Florida ceiling windows allow ample natural lighting to flood the space and offer stunning canyon views. The gourmet chef's kitchen is ideal for those who love to cook and entertain with top of the line appliances, marble countertops, and a large breakfast nook. The kitchen has everything needed to whip up delicious feasts. The country inspired wooden cabinets and rustic towel backsplash provide charming character. An open layout allows the chef to easily interact with guests in the living areas. For a quiet time, the home also features features a cozy library and a family room. Stepping outside, the sprawling backyard offers opportunities for relaxing in the LA sun. A central fountain provides tranquil sounds of running water, and it's surrounded by lush gardens. Overlooking the Santa Monica Mountains, the yard provides breathtaking canyon views. With a large grassy area and plenty of patio space, the backyard's perfect for hosting parties or barbecues. There's no pool, but a hot tub pulls the backyard together in natural harmony. Even with this house on the market, Matt didn't necessarily search for a new pad though. In classic Hollywood fashion, the actor owns multiple other residences, two just north of Pacific Palisades in Encino. There, his 8,000 square foot hilltop home comes with a 2,000 square foot property right next door. In the rural Santa Ynez Valley, just north of Santa Barbara, Matt lays claim to 1,000 plus acre country spread, which he bought way back in 2002. Aside from his homes, Matt's collection of vehicles 
vehicles. It's a testament to his true passion for cars and motorcycles. From classic and luxury cars like the Porsche 911, Porsche Carrera 4 GTS, more Porsches, some Mercedes Benz, and a Ferrari 458. He even has iconic motorcycles like a Ducati and a Suzuki. It seems Matt enjoys the thrill of the road and the track. Not only does he have an impressive array of modern vehicles, but he also treasures older classics, such as a 1985 Nissan pickup, 1987 Porsche Carrera, and even a Fiat X19. In addition, a bulldozer adds a unique and unconventional touch to his portfolio of toys. Now in his mid-50s, LeBlanc's career has spanned over 25 years of success in both comedies and dramas on the big and small screen. While he might always be remembered best as the lovable Joey Tribbiani, Matt has proven his versatility as a performer. With his boyish charm still intact, there's no doubt audiences will continue enjoying LeBlanc's work for years to come. After wrapping up this video and taking a look at Matt's homes and more, answer this question for me. If you were an actor getting paid one million per episode of a series you were on, how would you invest all of that money? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Karen. I'll see you all in another video. Bye! Courtney Cox might enjoy Hollywood events once in a while, but she much prefers spending time at her stunning Malibu estate with her daughter Coco and their dogs. The actress said it herself in 2017, This is a house I'll never move from. It really is so special to me. I found the perfect home and perfect it is. She bought her beachfront mansion in 2007 and it boasts two acres of land, multiple bedrooms, a chef grade kitchen, a sleek and modern pool, and much more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Courtney Cox is an actress, director, and producer who gained fame starring as Monica Geller on the hit NBC sitcom Friends, which aired from 1994 to 2004. Not to mention she gained further recognition for her role as Gail Weathers in the horror film franchise Scream from 1996 till present day. At the time of this recording, Courtney has amassed an estimated net worth of $150 million. While a famous purple apartment her character Monica lived in on Friends may have inspired decades of interior design, it turns out that her home in Malibu is just as, if not more, stylish. If that's not enough for you, the actress recently revealed her Hollywood starter home was actually haunted with a mysterious past, so we're gonna check out that home too. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment in this one, looking at where Courtney Cox calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Courtney never wants to part with her Malibu beach house. Purchased in 2007 for an undisclosed amount, her stunning home is located on two acres of land in the exclusive Paradise Cove neighborhood and offers floor-to-ceiling windows with views of the ocean. Her ocean view abode boasts several bedrooms and baths along with a chef-grade modern kitchen, living areas, and plenty of spaces to entertain her friends and family. While outside, there is a ton of open-air living space as well to soak up the surroundings, like a gorgeous patio overlooking the water. There's also guest cottages in the property, a movie theater, and even a tennis court with its own bonus house. When Courtney purchased the home, she worked with architect Michael Kovacs and interior designer Trip Hanish to transform the place into her dream estate. The actress revealed, If it was up to me, everything would have been one color. Monochromatic, very simple. When I got this house, my designer was able to bring in the pops of color and the interesting pieces I wouldn't have necessarily gone for. We had a fantastic time doing it. She wanted to make her home warm and inviting, so she added some darker and moodier colors to the scheme. Courtney said, Because this is my primary home, I wanted it to be cozy. So I just painted some of the rooms darker and made it a little more just cozier. However, there are still plenty of very bright and open areas of her abode, including her amazing kitchen. It's very beach-like and decked out in white lacquer with an airy vibe. Her cabinets and countertops all match. And of course, the chef-style space also has top-of-the-line stainless steel appliances. 
Much like her clean freak friends character, Monica, Courtney's kitchen is super neat, even when she's busy giving tutorials on how to clean a blender. We can see her spotless countertops, open shelving, holding a collection of plates, bowls, and leafy plants as well. In some common rooms, vaulted ceilings and lighting make Courtney's home ideally cozy. The living room offers a unique wooden coffee table and a brick fireplace, not to mention a TV above it. There's also a wall of large windows to take advantage of the Malibu views. Another room is furnished with cream-colored couches and chocolate-toned cushions, while the third lounge area boasts all gray furniture. One of Courtney's big beige couches is perfect for when the actress snuggles with her pups. Nearby, the area is decorated with artwork and plenty of flower arrangement. When speaking about her aesthetic back in 2017, Courtney said, Before, I was kind of into organic with modern and now I'm into really old mixed with cleaner stuff. I'm not really changing everything, just a shift. Why not? On the opposite side of one of her living rooms, the star has a grand piano with a gaming area behind it, also with a pool table. Modern art adorns the wall of this open air space. She often hosts her friends here for games nights, and some of these get-togethers include her famous pals like Jennifer Aniston. Courtney previously gave a peek of the view from where she watches movies and TV in her screening room. There are chic yet comfy chairs and tables here, and a movie theater vibe. In one of her bathrooms, which seems to be attached to her master suite, the actress also has a bright vanity where she gets glammed up and the space also boasts a glass walk-in shower. There's a marble unit complete with built-in drawers. We also got a peek inside of her private bedroom here, which seems to be painted in a black shade with a TV on the wall, a wooden sideboard, and more. Outside, the amenities keep coming. Courtney has shown fans her modern pool, which is only one of the features. Next to the pool and spa, there's a lounge area with sofas and chairs, making for the perfect sunbathing situation. There's also an impressive outdoor kitchen and a pergola-covered terrace for al fresco dining. Elsewhere, there's even a tennis court. A handful of years ago, Courtney also let go of a Beverly Hills home she once shared with her ex-husband, David Arquette. The former couple sold this architectural style estate located in Beverly Hills for about $18 million after being listed at 19.5 mil. The Wallace Ridge Estate is tucked away in the private and high-priced gated community of Truesdale Estates, and Courtney and David purchased the home when they were happily married in 2004 for $5.45 million. They went on to have the single-story home completely restored and renovated during their ownership by architect Corey Buckner in 2006. Designed by modernist architect A. Quincy Jones and built in 1959, the museum like Trophy Home sits on almost an acre of land and inside spans about 5,500 square feet of space. There are also 45 bedrooms plus at least one staff bedroom, 5.5 baths, and bonuses like a stylish detached office and a service entrance. Features of the main living area include a center hall, an updated kitchen with breakfast nook, a den, and a new alarm system. Outside, there was a sprawling lawn as well as a unique and gorgeous circular swimming pool attached to a fountain. The property also boasted undisturbed views of the city. After Courtney and David separated, the modern estate spent two years unofficially on the market as a pocket listing, but with no takers, it hit the official market in September 2013 for $19.5 million. However, that abode wasn't the one which Courtney recently shared a scary experience about. Nope, even before this property and before her days playing Monica on Friends, Courtney's starter home was located in the Laurel Canyon area of the Hollywood Hills, LA, and once belonged to music legend Carole King, who had bought it in the late 1960s. In a recent interview with Jimmy Kimmel, Courtney explained that she once saw a ghost in her former Laurel Canyon pad. She even had the previous owner, Carol King, over to partake in a seance with her as they attempted to remove the spirit. Courtney said, So Carol King came over to my house and she said that there had been a divorce that was really ugly. And there was a ghost in the house. And I was like, yeah, whatever. But other people who had stayed there with me, like friends of mine, said that they had an encounter with a woman who was sitting on the edge of the bed. However, the scariest moment for the actress came later on, when a delivery man came by to drop something off. And Courtney continued the story. It was a UPS guy or something, and I opened the door, and he said, do you know this house is haunted? And I go, yeah, why? Why do you think that? He goes, 
because there is someone standing behind you. And I was like, let's sell. Well, not long after, the actress packed up her house and moved out. There are no pictures online of the haunted home's interiors, but it appears to be on the charming and more humble side. And from exterior views, I honestly quite like the design. Some years after Courtney moved out, the 1920s French Normandy home hit the market again for $1.54 million. And it was set to span 3,832 square feet of space inside, with a lot spanning over 10,000 square feet. There are also five bedrooms and 4.5 baths throughout, as well as plenty of other luxuries. Built in 1926, the historic home boasted two fireplaces, a formal dining room, a library, office, and outside, a heated swimming pool with a cabana. Alright guys, now that wraps up our Courtney Cox house tour. We got to view her beautiful home base in Malibu, which she says she's staying put at for good, as well as a couple of alley homes she used to live at. We also got to hear her story about her haunted starter home in Hollywood. Regardless of the house's past, it actually looks really cool from the exterior, I have to admit. But would you guys ever live there in a haunted house? Be sure to let me know what you thought of Courtney's homes in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!